What's up everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B. And first off, I wanna apologize. I know I haven't posted a video in a really long time. Been very busy, got a lot of good things happening behind the scenes, business-wise. Uh, so it's kind of made me neglect my channel a little bit, but here I am. Uh, today's video, I'll be talking about how to add a subscribe button to an image as an overlay. Now, we're using clipchamp.com. I'm gonna kind of walk in how to do that. So the request comes in from a gentleman called Ghostman. Ghost M4N, Ghostman. He says, how do you green, how do you green screen, like for example, put a subscribe animation over your video because I've been questioning that for a while. Can you please do a vid? Absolutely. So we have a couple of options here. Option number one is in Clipchamp. So if you go to Clipchamp and you go on the left-hand side here, uh, there's also an area where you can do what are called graphics. Now, if you go under graphics, you can actually go to the Giphy one, select more, and then you can just basically type subscribe. Boom. And that's gonna give you the subscribe buttons that are available in there. Now, some of these have got a solid background, which is cool. Uh, and some of them don't, but if you go with the one with the solid background, you can actually use a green screen uh, filter to remove it. So like, let's say we just drop it here onto my timeline. There it is right there, subscribe. Gonna go ahead and go to the top where it has the filters and we're gonna scroll down to the filter that's called green screen. Just basically click on it and there you go. We now have a subscribe button added and it's actually an animated button added to our video. Now you're gonna notice it's not really clean. It's a little gritty, it's a little grainy. What do you expect, right? It's just, it's a giphy. Um, there isn't really edge tolerances built into this uh, where you can go in there and really do anything about it, um, but we can relocate it. So if we go to and select where it says layout, we click on that, uh, and then we can do what's called picture in picture. Now you can go ahead and pos position it wherever you want. Let's say I'm gonna do with the pop bottom lower third so we can make it a little bit larger if we wanted to. Uh, and now when we go through, there is your subscribe button. That's one way to do it. Now here's, here's what I wanted to talk about in this video is you can actually create something with PowerPoint. And if you, you probably already have PowerPoint, right? Uh, so we're gonna go into PowerPoint and we're gonna create a motion graphic here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go online and we're gonna Google subscribe button and it has to be a PNG. So I put a comma and then I put PNG. The way you know it's a PNG is when you click on it and it has this checkerboard in the background. It doesn't have it here, but it has it when you click it. If it has a checkerboard in the thumbnail, it's not a PNG. You're gonna get the checkerboard as well. So we want the one like this one here. So when we get to our PowerPoint, we're gonna make a green screen. We're gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna to go to the top. We're gonna to go to design up here at the top. We're gonna to format our background and we're gonna select a solid fill and we're gonna select our color and we wanna select a green screen color, which is that fluorescent green, right? Boom, look at that. Now we're gonna drop in our subscribe that we took from online and we're gonna bring it in. Boom, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller just cause it's easier for me to work with. Actually, let's make it big, let's have fun with it. Okay, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a custom animation. So at the top of PowerPoint, we have an option that says design. I'm sorry, that has animation. Uh, we're gonna go to select a fade in animation. Let's go ahead and test out to see how it looks. We're gonna hit the button here uh, and we're just gonna hit the space bar and it just fades in. Very basic, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and export this as an MP4. So at the top, we're gonna to put save as at the desktop. We're gonna call it subscribe button. There we go, nice and clean. Uh, and we're gonna export it as an MP4. Bet you didn't know that you could do this with PowerPoint. So there you go, MP4. And we're gonna hit the button that says save. At the bottom, you'll see it's creating that. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to our Clipchamp software and we're going to bring back in. Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and add this to it. There's a little plus icon in the top left and we're gonna go ahead and select the file and we're looking for our green screen subscribe, which is this one right here. We're gonna bring it in. We're gonna drop it in right here. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the background. So we're gonna go to filters at the top and we're gonna go to green screen. Boom, there we go. And there you, and look at how clean it is. It's not dirty, it's not messy like the other one that was from Giphy, right? So then now we can go ahead and go to the layout, do the picture in picture, and we can resize it like how we want. We can make it, uh, you know, a little bit bigger if we wanted to. So how does it look? Let's push play. There's your subscribe button. There you go, how to make a subscribe button. Again, we're using PowerPoint. We're not using the one that you get from Giphy. It's not as messy. We're not having to go to Premiere Pro yet. Uh, I hope this is what you're looking for and you can basically just add it as an overlay. From there, you can go ahead and export. Again, you can export a 480 video absolutely free from Clipchamp, uh, but if you want to get full resolution, you'll have to pay for a subscription. But in a nutshell, that is how you add a subscribe button. Hope this has been helpful. If so, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.